Flash obviously does more than just play video, although that's one of the more popular things that it does. But a lot of the things that you can do in Flash, you know, making things move around and like really rich interaction kind of stuff, we're to the point now where you can do all that stuff with HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, or nearly all of it. I suppose I shouldn't say all of it because I'm sure someone could come up with a demo on. Here's this thing that we did in Flash. You could never do that with JavaScript, and I would say, no, they may be right, right? Um, but I, I can't think of much. The difference is, at the moment, Flash has an incredibly powerful authoring environment. And the HTML, CSS, JavaScript ecosystem doesn't. Right? That ecosystem was where Flash was 10 years ago, when it didn't have a powerful authoring environment. So everyone who did Flash was like drawing all their own stuff by hand and doing all their own animations by hand. And those of us who were around them probably remember how sort of clunky all that stuff was. Right? Flash lets you do stuff that you couldn't do with just plain old markup, but it always felt kind of tinker toyish in a way. It felt like someone had built a site out of Legos, sort of. Um, that's not the case anymore, certainly. I mean, there are Flash uh, um, interaction experiences that are just really smooth and really nice because the authoring environment has had 10 years to mature. Well, the open web technologies are, are, are now starting that. And you know, people are starting to notice that. I've seen people comment sort of with more and more frequency. Does anyone feel like where, where Flash was 10 years ago? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's exactly. Thank you.